Hello, and thank you for joining me for another episode of Dread Captures. I'm your host, Lincoln, and it is my pleasure to be here with you all today. Let's not keep you waiting and get right into the captures. In this clip, we see a figure on a mountaintop in Mexico that is covered from head to toe in hair. He actually looks like he's coming out of a cave. He seems to be facing the camera and potentially notices he's being filmed and retreats back into the cave. Now, like me, I'm sure you guys have a pretty good idea what this might very well be. The guy filming also thinks he has captured legit footage of a Bigfoot. What do you guys think? I mean, it struck me as just being another Bigfoot sighting, but when he zoomed out and showed how far away the creature was, it kind of freaked me out. I'm not sure why, maybe because most of these hoaxes we encounter take place where Bigfoot can definitely be seen. This creature looks to be so, so far away and seemingly minding his own business. It's almost like we got a glimpse into his daily life. Anyhow, that's my perspective. I'd love to hear yours. Our next clip is a very clear video of what experts over at Squatch Watchers are calling a Sasquatch. We see the outline of the large creature behind the foliage. Right off the bat, I'd like to know some more information about the red crime scene tape. But we can see him smashing some dead tree limbs here. Now, at first glance, I thought we really might have had something here, but now I'm a little skeptical. I think a Bigfoot is a more cerebral creature than most others. The smashing of these dead limbs seems like just a waste of his time and kind of out of character. Anyhow, I'd love to know how you guys feel about that assessment and what you think of the clip. Let me know down in the comments. This next photo, shared on Facebook by Dom Fajarski, gives us a glimpse into the past in an unexpected way. A while back, he and his wife were enjoying a meal at a restaurant with a rich mining heritage. The restaurant was set right atop an old mine. Not only known for its good food, the place is known for celebrating its mining roots with all sorts of artifacts from the old days. As they were eating, they harmlessly asked someone to take a picture of them. It's only later that they notice something odd in the background. There's what appears to be a see-through figure of a man floating in the middle of the room. The figure sports a long beard and is dressed in a white button-up shirt, very much the miner's attire of old. Dom points out that this image is of the actual physical photo, developed at a photo store. So digital tampering isn't in the cards. While it could be a case of double exposure, the man's striking similarity to a historical miner adds a layer of mystery for sure. Another interesting piece, at the time, the restaurant they were in had a strict rule against facial hair, yet the figure in the photo is showing off quite the impressive beard. In this video from the Instagram account Strange Activities, we get a glimpse of something unusual captured by a camera on a boat in the Baltic Sea. The footage shows a mysterious black object moving swiftly from left to right. When you zoom in and slow it down, you'll notice the object has a couple of prongs and seems a bit transparent. It then vanishes into the tree-lined coast. There's been some back and forth in the comments. A few people think the object looks a bit off, hinting that the footage might have been tampered with using CGI. On the other hand, some are theorizing it could be an experimental military craft or maybe something extraterrestrial. As often happens with UFO sightings, the video quality isn't the best, making it hard to draw any firm conclusions about what we're seeing. My take? While I'm leaning towards the idea of an experimental craft, the CGI possibility can't be dismissed easily. In this next video feature, we're diving into the depths of an Idaho forest. While your eyes might be searching for something hidden among the trees, this particular clip doesn't offer a visual encounter. However, the audio, now that's a different story. 
there's a scream that's pretty hard to ignore. The person who sent in this video explains it was shot in the Idaho wilderness, a place known for their diverse wildlife, some of which can produce chilling screams like foxes or mountain lions. Yet, the scream captured here doesn't seem to match any local animal calls. And it doesn't quite fit the bill for Bigfoot either. As the scream rips through the forest, it gives the impression it could be coming from a valley close by. But pinpointing it is going to be tricky. And this leaves us with a bit of a puzzle. What could be the source of this eerie sound? Perhaps it's a banshee that's strayed far from its usual haunts. Or maybe it's related to one of the cryptids we've covered before, such as a skinwalker. Unfortunately, I can't provide a definitive answer. It's up to you to decide what you believe. I was rushing to get this video out, but by now I'm sure you all know what I'm talking about, but this is some of the best footage I can find and a timeline of what happened. This TikTok by Sean Loaded shows something pretty insane. The clip is said to have been taken right before all hell broke loose at a Miami, Florida mall. I don't really know what to think about all of this. The lighting of the sky is nuts. It really looks like something is coming right at us. Or a gathering of a few things or objects coming together. It also feels like it could be a portal to another dimension. As it continues to get closer, it also shrinks in size as it works its way across the sky. I won't play the entire video, but the thing or things eventually fades off into the night. Exceptionally eerie. Okay, so this next clip, if true, is absolutely bonkers. So the story goes that a guy posted a video claiming that his dad is a Miami police officer, even running for sheriff, so he's in the know. Now, the weird part is that the son says he just got off the phone with his dad earlier and he never mentioned any of this to him. Let's watch. Whoa. I mean, knowing the government agencies in our country, I don't believe this is too far fetched. Of course, they wouldn't tell us. Like a fight broke out. Why did they send so many police cars? Are you serious? You can't say anything? I don't know what else they want Well, dang. I mean, first of all, let's just get this out here. None of this could be true. I mean, this could be pretty easy to fake, of course. Guy calls friend, asks him to pretend he's a cop and his dad, acts suspiciously, yada yada. Pretty easy to reenact. Now, where my spidey senses kind of come in is that the son, he just doesn't come off very believable. The interaction from him didn't seem genuine. Seemed kind of scripted, but it may be true. Very hard to tell in my opinion. Now, here's a clip from CBS Miami that shows the massive police presence that has descended upon this mall. Now, that is a crap ton of squad cars. I think we can all agree on that. And whatever would cause and require such resources to be present, nearly every cop in the county has reported to this incident, by the way, would have to be of the most extreme urgency. Well, many eyewitnesses are saying that there were eight foot tall aliens on site. Let's listen. So now people are posting online saying that police weren't there to handle a group of rowdy teens, but rather eight to 10 feet tall, what? shadowy aliens, conspiracy theories. Now I can definitely see what everyone else is seeing and there seems to be something walking around. As for what it is, I'll leave that to you guys. Okay, full disclosure, these aren't the types of videos we've been featuring, but I have to admit they are kind of growing on me. But only the ones where I don't feel like there's any funny business. 
Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Anyhow, like you all know, security cameras nowadays are everywhere. They're usually set up to keep an eye out for unusual stuff like break-ins or unexpected guests. But luckily for us, they sometimes catch things way more chilling. Check this video out as a seemingly ordinary scene in an office takes a turn for the strange. In the clip, a few people are just hanging out in the office and everything seems pretty standard. But if you pay attention to the background, you'll notice something odd. A glass sitting on a table in the corner starts moving all on its own. This unusual activity grabs the attention of one of the ladies in the room who goes over to investigate. Now, there's been some debate among viewers. Some think the glass could have moved because of water condensation on the table, but others are leaning towards a spookier explanation, suggesting it might be the handiwork of a poltergeist. Poltergeists are known in ghost lore for their ability to mess with physical objects. Okay, so what's really going on here? Is it perhaps just a simple case of water causing the glass to slide? Or is there something more supernatural at play? I don't know. Take another peek at the video and let me know. In this clip, a YouTuber is wandering through the ruins of an old building in Japan. The structure is clearly in a state of neglect and decay. As he's filming exploring the place, he points the camera down to a square opening in the wall. Check this out. At first glance, you might notice a tiny glow. However, when you slow down the video, a more unnerving detail emerges. There's a pair of bright orange eyes peeking through the darkness of that opening. And when you slow it down even more and brighten up the image, those eyes are connected to a gray face that's looking right back at the guy with the camera. The face has a human-like outline, but the ashen skin and eerie eyes give it an otherworldly appearance. I am not sure what we're seeing here. Is it possible an evil spirit has made its home here? Back in early October 2022, a Reddit user shared a video that got a lot of people talking. It shows three objects moving across the sky, and it sparked a lively discussion about the possibility of extraterrestrial visitors keeping an eye on us. When you watch the footage, one of the objects seems to fall back a bit. Then it picks up speed and rejoins the other, creating a triangular formation. The uploader mentioned that these objects were silent. He barely noticed them and they moved overhead with a seamless glide. The unusual video fueled a variety of explanations. We got stuff ranging from top secret military crafts and weather balloons, some mentioned SpaceX's Starlink satellites, and of course the most popular, and I think likely, the classic alien UFO. Now, the argument really intensified when another Reddit user decided to investigate the video further. After applying some type of filters to the clip, he noticed what looked like a wing flapping motion. This all led to the idea that these could be birds lit up by the city lights from below. So I'll ask you, are we looking at a group of birds here? Or is this sighting something out of the ordinary? Drop your thoughts in the comments. I'm curious to know what everyone makes of this. In this video, we see a deer out in a field, its antlers caught up in the trunk and branches of a tree. He's definitely in a tricky spot that could be risky if any predators are around. But this deer isn't about to let itself get stuck. It's all in on getting free, putting up a persistent fight. Each time he fails to get loose, he seems to get even more determined. By some good fortune, a kind-hearted farmer happens to come by. Seeing the deer in trouble, the farmer doesn't hesitate and quickly steps in to help. With some careful maneuvering, they manage to disentangle the deer's antlers from the tree. And just like that, the deer is out and doesn't really seem to have been harmed by the whole ordeal. I'll say this, judging by how strong the deer seemed, it was likely he hadn't been trapped for too long. 
As the deer bounds away, we're left to wonder how he ended up in that mess. Most of the time it's just from the deer leaving its markings on a tree. Nevertheless, I'm relieved to see it back on its feet and free. This next video was taken in an area that had been experiencing some Bigfoot activity. As you can see, the kid hopping off the four-wheeler is pretty sure he's just come face to face with one, and he is freaked out. Bigfoot! Bigfoot! No! He's haul and tail away from the Bigfoot that is coming up from behind him. I'm pretty sure mom blew it because she couldn't contain her laughter. Anyhow, the kid is relieved that this wasn't an actual Bigfoot, but I bet he's pretty annoyed that they played this joke on him. Hey kid, shake it off buddy. Parents gotta have fun these days too. Okay folks, this video right here is why I will never be able to be convinced there is a scarier animal living today than an alligator. Look at this. When alligators capture bigger prey, they do what we recognize known as the death roll. It separates it into smaller, easier to handle chunks. If the prey is too big to eat all at once, the alligator might keep it underwater, a practice known as caching. This process allows the prey to decompose and become softer, making it simpler to break apart and consume later on. On the other hand, if this deer was alive when the alligator snatched it, then of course he would likely attempt to drown it first, killing two birds with one stone as that would ensure the prey couldn't escape and cause its death. A dead deer puts up less resistance than a living one. Ay ay ay. ay. The elusive Bigfoot and its brethren, the Sasquatch, have a notorious reputation for dodging camera lenses. Yet, against their elusive nature, we've managed to secure an intriguing image from a trail camera. Feast your eyes upon the fuzzy figure of what appears to be a white, ape-like creature. Now, can anyone guess where this clip might have come from? Some crazy Bigfoot enthusiast? A man holed away in the woods? A person playing a hoax? Nope. This image was obtained straight from the official website of the city of Portland, Portland, Oregon. However, the plot thickens. The city authorities, in an unexpected move, have withheld the precise location of this captivating Bigfoot encounter. The motivation behind this secrecy? Most likely to safeguard the elusive creature. But the question lingers. Could a Bigfoot truly be lurking in our midst, or is this a cunning ploy to draw curious visitors to Portland? On another note, is there something about this mysterious creature that makes capturing a clear image impossible, or is this something else at play? However, I must admit, despite the blur, the footage is remarkably clear and the city's decision to publish it raises many, many, many questions. Let me know what you guys think about this clip. Have you seen it before? When I first saw this video, I was surprised. Lynx are not usually aggressive towards humans, unless they have to be, but we all know every animal can act in unexpected ways. Thankfully, the man in the truck had his window up, and the poster said that the closed window might have been the reason the lynx attacked, that the lynx saw a reflection in the glass and responded to it. Since the reflection is quite low, it probably wasn't the lynx's own reflection, but perhaps another one, possibly the man's. Also, there's some strong language in this video, so I didn't include the original sound. However, you can hear loud calls from a prey animal in distress. According to one commenter, he said the calls were coming from inside the truck and that the man was playing them over a recorder trying to attract the lynx. 
Let me know if you've heard of anything like this. You can find it on the IG channel, Nature is Metal. In the remote, lush expanses of western Maryland, a chilling tale emerged from the dense forest, its cloak of anonymity as obscure as its protagonist. A man, who wished to stay unnamed, captured a few bewildering images that have since set the corners of the internet ablaze. The pictures were not just of any animal. They portrayed a creature with jet black fur, eerily luminescent yellow eyes, a beast hauntingly reminiscent of a wolf. Yet, this was no ordinary wolf. Each picture depicted the creature in broad daylight, a quirk at odds with the nocturnal nature of these predators. The creature's posture was purely canine, comfortably resting on all fours. Its lean, muscled body radiating a primal power that was chilling and captivating all at once. However, it was the mysterious transformation of this creature under the blanket of darkness that elicited a visceral thrill of both fear and fascination. As the moon claimed dominion over the star-studded sky, the man reported that the wolf underwent a terrifying metamorphosis. It morphed into a bipedal creature, a towering apparition straight out of a werewolf legend. He noticed that the hair on the beast's legs seemed matted and appeared to be shedding off, giving it an even more terrifying and grotesque appearance. Our submitter shared that the wolf hadn't initially appeared in such a disheveled state. Yet, each time the creature underwent its nightly transformation, the fur on its legs seemed to dislodge, painting an eerie picture of shedding and rebirth of a beast that walked the line between the realms of the natural and the supernatural. Understandably, the man's initial reaction was shock, perhaps even disbelief. Can't blame him for that. It's not every day you encounter what appears to be a legendary creature from folklore in your backyard. He grappled with questions that seemed to have no rational answers. Could it be true? The man goes on to say he doesn't believe in any of this stuff. Was this creature, this awe-inspiring, terrifying being, proof of a werewolf's existence? Or was there another explanation? These perplexing questions remain unsolved, leaving the man, and us, in a whirlwind of fascination, speculation, and fear. The story of the Western Maryland werewolf, captured in daylight yet transformed under the moon, challenges our comprehension of the world. Whether a true werewolf or a biological anomaly, the creature, with its black fur, yellow eyes, and nightly transformation, remains a spine-chilling puzzle. Please, please let me know what you guys think of this submission. There is definitely something creepy going on with this wolf. In the video clip you're about to watch, a group known by the moniker Rocky Mountain Sasquatch, or RMS for short, is featured. With a dedicated YouTube channel teeming with evidence of the legendary Bigfoot, RMS curates intriguing content based on photo and video submissions from all corners of the globe. The focus of this clip today is one specific submission that landed in RMS's inbox on the 1st of March, 2023. The sender, a man named Brian S., captured an image in an unexpected location, the Georgetown Loop Railroad, nestled in the heart of Clear Creek County, Colorado. In a moment, you'll see the photo Brian submitted, but here's what he had to say. During a train ride in Georgetown County last September, I snapped a few pictures. Only upon revisiting these photos did I spot a peculiar figure. To my eyes, it bore an uncanny resemblance to a Sasquatch. My initial thought was perhaps the railway staff had placed a statue there as a playful jest. Yet, when I scoured the internet for similar images, I found none. Surely, if it was a mere statue, other travelers would have documented it also. Plus, wouldn't the train conductors have announced its presence or playfully alluded to it? It is my firm belief that the figure in my photo isn't a mere trick or a statue. Brian's picture does indeed show an impressively tall figure, bearing a striking resemblance to Bigfoot. Could this be a mere fabrication? A playfully constructed hoax? Or did Brian unintentionally capture one of the clearest images of Bigfoot to date? 
As we delve deeper into this mystery, the truth remains shrouded in suspense and uncertainty. Let me know what you guys think. I admit, I would have to do a double take if I saw these turkeys pop up on my trail camera. And I'd probably be a little startled. However, the sight of these birds, their feathers a ghostly white, definitely has a certain captivating charm. A blend of uniqueness and beauty about them. One day, a man unexpectedly caught a gathering of these white turkeys, who appeared to just be feeding and roaming through the woods. He said he had never seen them before and weren't sure where they came from. Funny enough, one commenter was adamant that these turkeys were otherworldly and that no one should go near them as they can transfer some sort of illness or something. I don't know about all that. The scientific community suggests a more grounded explanation for this phenomenon. Basically, it's an unusual mutation known as leucism, a condition which results in decreased pigmentation. This genetic quirk leads to the appearance of white or sporadically colored feathers in birds. This logical, science-backed explanation does offer some reassurance. However, liking the creepy as much as the next guy, a part of me kind of wishes these turkeys were more paranormal or unexplainable, mystical. Anyhow, what about you guys? Have you ever had an encounter with any turkeys that look like this? This next clip is a seemingly harmless image shared on the internet by an adventurer. To an untrained eye, it might appear as just another vacation picture a casual memento of a journey. But upon closer look, a shiver-inducing detail emerges. Can you see it? Behind the man in the picture, there lurks a figure, an individual that closely resembles an ape. As one might expect, the image stirred up quite a storm of speculation. People pointed out to the man the unusual figure caught unexpectedly in his picture and he revealed that the photograph was taken in the Piranha Delta region. Interestingly enough, the locals have tales of elusive white creatures that supposedly inhabit these parts. They are as much a part of the landscape as they are mysterious. This newfound revelation sparked a frenzy among Bigfoot enthusiasts. The question on everyone's mind? Could the elusive creature have made this area its home? Most discussions around Bigfoot typically revolve around its sightings in North America, with South America often being overlooked. However, as it appears, that could be a grave oversight. If you look back through history, there's compelling evidence that suggests the presence of Bigfoot-like entities in South America. Early settlers and explorers of this region reported encounters with giant, hairy humanoid creatures so much so that they even named some of their towns in memory of these enigmatic beings. Take for instance Patagonia, a region not too distant from where this photo was taken. Here, accounts of such creatures like Lee Bigfoot are quite prevalent. But the real question remains, is this figure in this photograph truly Bigfoot? Or could it be something else entirely? What do you believe? In the spring of 2013, a fox couple captured the attention of visitors in the northern part of the Yellowstone National Park when they decided to build their den right above the site. Two kits, or baby foxes, emerged on May 23rd, instantly making this fox family local celebrities. While the male fox was efficient in hunting, mostly targeting ground squirrels, the vixen vigilantly looked after their two offspring in the den. For nine days, park visitors observed this fox family's life, witnessing the kits play, feed, and their parents' care and affection. The mama fox was constantly on the lookout for threats, particularly from a crazy raven known to steal their food. However, on the ninth day, the raven would be the least of their problems. A badger showed up in the area. He eventually entered their den which led to a fierce battle between it and the mama fox. After a tough fight, the badger managed to invade the den, causing everyone panic as it was assumed to have attacked and killed one of the kits. 
But in a surprising turn of events, the kits reemerged unhurt, and it was realized that the badger had actually been eating their stored ground squirrels, not the babies. Mother Fox continued her battle with the badger and tried and tried and tried to remove him from the den, but eventually was unsuccessful. So she just packed everyone up, dug a new den, and moved the kits in there safely. As the days went by and the fox's lives returned back to normal, the badger still hung around the area. The mother and father fox were both on high alert. However, one day, under one of the vixen's rare absences, the badger found the new den, which only had one exit, unlike the old one. Upon her return, it dawned on Mama Fox what might have happened. The badger had entered the den, and she fought and fought to remove him, but it was too late. Unfortunately, the fox kits had been killed. The badger eventually left the area, and the fox parents visited the site a few times before leaving for good. This intimate sight into the life of the fox family left a lasting impression on the spectators at Yellowstone. This next piece of footage doesn't hail from a trail camera, but it's every bit as interesting as any wilderness encounter. Picture this. Dawn breaks and a family awakens to a scene of chaos. Their yard awash with scattered debris and remnants of the previous night. This puzzling discovery prompted a hasty investigation of their security camera footage. The revelation was nothing short of astonishing. At the initial scan, the intruder appeared to be a common wild beast, perhaps a bear. But as they watched the footage more intently, they found quite the surprise. A creature, eerily wolf-like, yet bearing an uncanny resemblance to a human form, was seen slipping away from their neighbor's premises. What made this encounter even more spine-chilling was the lunar cycle. It had been a full moon the previous night. This had the family wondering if they could be possibly living next to an authentic werewolf. The family was left in uncertainty, but they chose to share the footage online in hopes of gathering some more information. In hindsight, this may not have been the wisest course of action. People pointed out that if you really were in fact living next to a werewolf and or your neighbors knew about it, they might not be happy that you posted this clip. In the midst of their routine day-to-day -day activities, a couple stumbled upon a remarkably well-preserved appendage that didn't match any known creature they could identify. They thought about simply dismissing it and resuming their lives. However, curiosity ignited their imagination. Was this their moment of making a monumental discovery? They decided to document the unusual find by snapping photographs of the limb. It then popped in the woman's mind an intriguing thought. Could this relic potentially be the legendary Bigfoot's foot? However, it seemed too small to be a full-grown Bigfoot. After the photograph made its rounds on the internet, it was suggested that the mysterious limb could belong to a juvenile Bigfoot, either a foot or possibly a hand. They figured there was only one way to solve this mystery. If the unidentified limb's DNA could be compared to the DNA of other Bigfoot specimens. It just so happens that a Dr. Melberg Ketchum and her group profess to have conducted DNA sequencing on a myriad of specimens such as hair and tissue reportedly obtained from unidentified hominin species, popularly known as Bigfoot. The couple has been in touch with Dr. Ketchum's team, but no definitive answers have come out. Could this be the breakthrough moment to unravel the Bigfoot mystery once and for all? What do you guys think of these photographs? Just an incredible camera capture here. I love to see these predators in action. Tigers are opportunistic carnivores, which means they will eat almost anything they can catch, including turtles. Turtles would not be a preferred meal choice due to their hard shell, and tigers would typically prefer larger, meatier prey like deer, boar, or sometimes even smaller elephants. But this guy must be hungry. I mean, this guy's fast, too. 
a fun fact is that tigers are incredibly swift and agile for their size. They can actually reach speeds up to 35 to 40 miles per hour. And unlike most cats, they are excellent slimmers and love to bathe. They can even hunt in water and often cool themselves off in ponds and streams during hot days. Which really just means you're not safe on land or in the water. At least that's what I heard. As is customary, duels between stags involve charging at each other, utilizing their antlers to strike the adversary. If the antlers are small with only a couple of tines, the likelihood of any serious hazard during these skirmishes is generally very low. However, the situation changes when the antlers are more complex, larger, and convoluted, and the probability of their entanglement increases significantly. In this case, two deer find themselves in quite a predicament. Their antlers have become intertwined, and one appears to be on the verge of dying or dead. The other deer is exerting every ounce of its strength to try to free itself from this grim entrapment. He's in big trouble if he can't get this dead weight off of him. The deer tries and tries, but it seems that the assistance of an external force may be necessary for this creature's release. It's pretty apparent that, if left to their own devices, these deer could find themselves in quite the pickle. They need some help, particularly human assistance. Without such help, escaping this unfortunate snare could prove to be a nearly impossible task for these creatures. A good example of this can be found in the case of this deer that has found itself entangled in a man-made structure. A fence, to be precise. Its struggle caught the attention of a local farmer. Fortunately, the resident took immediate action, stepping in to assist the distressed creature. The deer, penned helplessly, would have faced a bleak and potentially fatal situation. If not released, it could have suffered a slow and agonizing decline, brought on by a lack of food and water. Or worse yet, and this is tough to think about, its helpless state could have attracted unwanted attention from predators, turning it into an easy prey. But have no fear, thanks to the timely intervention of a good Samaritan, it was spared from such a cruel fate. It was saved from the brink of starving, dehydrating, and the possibility of becoming someone's meal. While it's always suggested to be careful when helping in nature, this escape underscores the importance of human intervention when certain types of wildlife are in distress. Just a great camera capture. John lived a quiet life in a remote cabin nestled deep within the woods, over 10 miles from the nearest neighbor. This place was his sanctuary, a place where he could enjoy a solitude and the natural beauty surrounding him. He had worked hard to achieve this. However, one day, this tranquility was disrupted by an unexpected appearance on his trail camera. He had set the camera up on a game trail near his property, mostly to observe the local fauna. But on that crisp autumn day, while reviewing the images, he came across something that sent chills down his spine. The figure in the frame wasn't a bear, or a wild boar, or a deer. It was a young girl. Her hair the color of sunlit wheat, dirt streaked across her face and clothes. And she had something on her face, something he couldn't make out. It looked like lines, almost like cracked skin. The sight of her in the wild and her clearly unkempt condition was jarring. Her eyes, clear and piercing, stared straight into the camera, and they held a haunting mix of fear and defiance. She was like a ghost in the wilderness, except she wasn't. But who was she, and how did she end up so far away from any form of civilization? With concern mounting, John decided to investigate. He felt the responsibility to find her, to ensure she was safe. Leaving his cabin, he ventured deep into the woods. He followed the same game trail, tracing the path the girl had likely taken. The forest was quiet, eerily quiet, save for the rustle of leaves underfoot and the distant calls of birds overhead. Days turned into nights and the mystery deepened. 
He discovered signs of her, footprints by a stream, discarded wrappers of food he recognized from his own supplies, and a makeshift shelter near the base of an old oak tree. It appeared she had been surviving in the woods for some time, but each clue he found only seemed to raise more questions. John couldn't help but wonder about her story. Was she lost? Had she run away? He felt a growing sense of worry and a very, very weird feeling of admiration. This girl had survived something. She was tough. Despite her situation, she had managed to survive in this untamed environment, a feat that many grown men wouldn't be able to accomplish. But being a father himself, each passing day without finding her increased his anxiety. He knew the woods could be treacherous, especially for a young girl of this age. Yet he also recognized her resourcefulness and resilience. His mind teetered between hope and dread, the haunting image from the trail camera always at the back of his mind as the days passed. As those days turned into a week, John began to question his solitary existence. In a world so vast, he felt a kinship with this mysterious girl. Maybe they were both outsiders. It seemed so, living on the periphery, separated from the rest of society. But that didn't answer his questions. The girl in the picture remained elusive, her whereabouts unknown. Still, John continued his search, driven by a newfound purpose. The woods that once provided him with solitude were now a labyrinth hiding a mystery. The mysterious young girl with the sunlit hair and resilient gaze. Where was she? While he longed for answers, John knew he was embarking on an uncertain journey. His once quiet life had been upended, replaced by a quest to ensure the safety of a stranger. Oddly, he felt more alive and connected than ever before. The woods, his refuge, had given him a purpose he didn't realize he was seeking, all through the unexpected image of a young girl on his trail camera. In this clip, we have someone filming an unidentified critter in a ditch that's slowly creeping towards them. The guy with the camera stepping back as this thing comes closer. At first look, you might be like, oh yeah, that's a bear cub, considering its size and how our friend's backing off. But when the camera gets a fix on it and the creature shows us its side, we're in for a surprise. What is this thing? This creature's a weird mashup of features that you wouldn't normally see together, it seems. It's got this big old head, a tight little body covered in a thick layer of fur, and stubby limbs that look like something off a monkey-rat hybrid. It's the sort of thing that gets you wondering, what on earth are you looking at? But the real kicker is its behavior. The creature's both curious and cautious. It's like it wants to check things out, but it's also got that animal instinct telling it to be careful about the human in its space. You can see as it tries over and over to climb up the side of the ditch. Probably searching for a safer spot or just trying to get out of dodge. The tension builds as the creature keeps inching towards the cameraman. What's going on in its head? Is it hungry? Is it just curious? Does it have some deep-seated instincts to connect with people? But just as you're on the edge of your seat, the video cuts off, leaving us hanging. What was this mysterious creature that crossed paths with this cameraman? Do you guys have any ideas? I will hop in here and say this, I watched this a few times, and it wasn't till one of the last two or three times that I watched it that it kind of looks like a dog dressed up in some type of suit. I'm sure you guys know the ones I'm talking about. Sometimes they'll put a lion suit on a dog and it looks like a big lion is running at you. I don't know. Let me know what you guys see. In Oregon's deep forest, people are whispering and getting excited. From the start, it's clear we might be seeing the famous and hard to find creature we all know and love as Bigfoot. This figure, standing tall among the trees, has clear human-like features, catching our imagination with its mystery. But there's something else that really adds to this already interesting meeting. If you look closely, a surprising discovery appears. Safely riding on the Bigfoot's back, a smaller figure can be seen. This little partner, looking like a baby, holds tightly to its bigger buddy, grabbing onto its fur. The two look very similar, obviously, suggesting a family connection, if anything at all. 
Now, the idea that these amazing creatures might be Bigfoot and its child opens up many possibilities. Could these hard to find creatures have complex family structures and social behaviors? Like humans and other mammals, do they show parental instincts and look after their young? The presence of the baby Bigfoot adds more weight to the idea of a whole species. Could this incredible trail camera footage be the key to understanding the secrets of the elusive Bigfoot's life? We might just find the answer deep in Oregon's forests. This clip is a real head scratcher. Caught in the middle of the night, way deep in the wild, a trail cam was set up to catch some footage of the local critters. And all of his other recordings never hinted at something like this being caught on camera. The owner never saw it coming, but the camera picked up something way out of the ordinary and no one's sure what to make of it. As you watch the video, you'll see this weird figure, all dressed in white, just popping out of nowhere. But it doesn't seem to really hang around. It kind of fades back into the night, just as mysteriously as it showed up. I'm at a loss. Is this just a person in a white robe? What do you guys think this bizarre event is all about? Okay, so check this out. We've got a couple of guys just hanging out in their boat, cruising along a river. They're recording the shoreline, probably for Snapchat or Instagram or something. It's super windy as you can barely understand the original audio. As the camera sweeps over the riverbank, they're expecting to catch some pretty nature shots, maybe a deer or a bird, but then boom, they spot something in the tall grass, a weird figure, all brown shaggy fur. The guy with the camera is puzzled. He even says, here's a dog. But then in the tone of his voice, he goes, what's it doing by the river? You can tell they're in the middle of nowhere and there shouldn't be a dog here. And at first glance, it does look like a dog. But then the plot thickens. This dog suddenly stands up and it's not on four legs, but two. But instantly, they're staring at a massive upright creature looking at them from the grass. The guys in the boat, their jaws drop and this creature bolts disappearing into the wilderness with an agility that's startling for its size. They are all left stunned in silence, their minds racing. Adrenaline's pumping with a mix of shock and excitement. The video ends abruptly just giving us a fleeting look at the creature, but the questions it raises are enough to send chills down your spine, I'll admit that. Could it be? Do we think they just stumbled upon Bigfoot? This video is enough to get your imagination running wild. I don't know what this could be. It's definitely bipedal and it doesn't look like any domestic dog to me. I'd love to know your thoughts. Here's another unnerving video filmed deep in the forest. Look closely at the right side of the screen. Between the small opening and the gate, you'll see a strange face. This face doesn't look normal or natural. It has a very old, non-human quality to it. However, it seems to show some human-like intelligence. It quickly notices the camera and then moves away. We're not sure what this creature is. Do you guys have any ideas? Is this some type of skinwalker? Or could this just be an elaborate hoax? I'd love to know your thoughts on this. Let me know. Just unbelievable footage here. Look at this. We see the eagle gliding in slow motion through the air, waiting for what he has his sights locked in on to come into the screen. And would you look at that? The eagle is swooping in and trying to rip this rabbit from the mama fox's mouth. Unbelievable all around. Unbelievable precision by the eagle, but also unbelievable resolve by the mama fox to hold on to its prey. She knows her kits have to eat. Mom even takes a tumble. We see as the eagle tries to take flight after a near miss on what he undoubtedly thought was an easy meal. Let's watch it again.
just crazy. Awesome footage, great capture. In this next eerie clip, a homeowner hears some odd noises outside their house. Of course, they start filming because who wouldn't, right? But what they catch on camera is legit nightmare fuel. Look at this. The homeowner's on his phone, presumably calling a buddy for help. And as he does this, you can see something stirring in the darkness. This creature just stays put at first just creepily walking around, lurking, watching from the shadows. And then boom, it shifts a little and starts inching closer to the man. It's moving very strangely. I can't tell if there's some weird time lapse in this video, but this scary humanoid thing just seems to pop up closer each time you look. It's massive, it's all white, which makes me immediately think this could be a skinwalker. If you've ever imagined what one of those might look like, well, this thing fits the bill. You can hear the pure fear in Richard, the homeowner's voice. He's practically begging his friend on the phone to believe him. It's like 35 feet away and it, it, it's, it came out of those weeds. You know what I'm talking about? He's like, it's just 35 feet away, man. It came out of those damn weeds. You know the ones. There's a moment where this beast seems to hunch over almost like an ape. But then it straightens up and you can tell this is no ape. And the worst part, it knows Richard's there. It's watching him. As the video continues to play, Richard says something that makes your blood run cold. He's like, Oh my God, there it is, Mike. It came back. Oh my gosh. Oh my God, it's back, Mike. It's back. Holy crap. And it's clear that this isn't Richard's first rodeo with this creature might not be Mike's either. The video abruptly cuts off, but all we can do is hope that Mike eventually trusted his friend enough to come help. What do you guys think happened next? In the wake of a bitter divorce, Lorraine, a resilient woman from New Jersey, decided to exchange the bustling city life for a serene existence in the quaint forests of New Hampshire. She sold everything she had, leaving behind a tangled past and embraced a fresh start, where she hoped to find solace in the arms of nature. In her newfound retreat, she began a lifestyle that she jokingly referred to as her hippie phase. Her newfound passion was setting up trail cameras capturing the serene wildlife around her. From playful foxes to graceful deer, the sight of these creatures helped her find an inner peace she hadn't experienced before. However, as the harsh winter descended, her outdoor expeditions dwindled. The snow draped everything in a white blanket and the wildlife retreated. It was during this time that she noticed something peculiar. On the rare occasions when she braved the snow, she discovered unusually large footprints pressed deep into the pristine snow that covered the back of her property. Intrigued more than frightened, she followed the tracks, her eyes scanning the tree line. That's when she spotted it. Her camera, sadly, was not equipped to capture the figure clearly in the fading light. It looked like an enormous blob, about eight feet tall, lurking just beyond the trees. Days turned into weeks, and Lorraine's fascination only grew. She could not get this creature out of her mind. She didn't like how elusive it had been, and it bothered her that she couldn't get a clear view of it. That was until one day when she caught a glimpse of it. The sight was astounding. Excited about this picture etched in her memory, she turned to her artist friend, detailing every aspect of the creature that she could recall. The creature was colossal, bearing striking resemblance to the mythical Bigfoot as described in countless stories its size, shape, even the familiar features that they all possess. The only discernible difference was the fur. Unlike the brown or black typically associated with Bigfoot, this creature was cloaked in white fur, which seemed to blend into the winter landscape. And she began to wonder if that's why her camera couldn't pick it up. 
Now, every time she stepped out into the biting cold to check her trail cameras, her heart pounded in anticipation. Her mind raced with the possibilities. Could she be the first person to discover a new species? Or perhaps a variant of the legendary Bigfoot? Her encounter with this creature, instead of filling her with fear, brought an unexpected thrill and curiosity to her solitary life. Her New Hampshire home, once a sanctuary for healing, had transformed into a playground of intrigue. Every crunch in the snow, every rustle in the forest amplified her anticipation. What was once a bitter ending to her past life had now become a thrilling new chapter, driven by an insatiable curiosity of the unknown. Snake hunting is a skill that involves extensive knowledge about the behaviors and habitats of snakes, as well as safety precautions to ensure the hunter and those around them are not endangered. In the case of this Thai snake hunter, he has found a nest of cobras, and I'm 100% sure a new fear has been unlocked. Ugh. I mean, look at this. Oh my gosh. An underground nest of cobras. To find this underground nest, the snake hunter would need to look for signs such as snake tracks, which can appear as subtle trails in the dust or soil, or even discarded snake skin, which snakes shed as they grow. Another cool tactic is to observe the behavior of other animals in the area, as some animals may act unusually if there's a predator, like a snake, nearby, or in this case, underneath them. Here's another snake that is nested inside a bamboo tree. And I wholeheartedly mean this when I say it. I'm absolutely all out on this. I want nothing to do with it. I mean, look at how that thing smashed in there like that. This tree cavity provides protection, a potential place to lay eggs and make sure that they don't turn into prey. However, this behavior is not common for all snakes with many preferring ground or underground habitats. Really cool camera capture here, check this out. An albino doe has given birth to two natural colored fawns. I was interested in finding the rarity of this and it said that albinism is very rare in the wild, occurring in about one in 10,000 to 20,000 mammals. It's a recessive trait, meaning an animal must inherit the gene from both parents. An albino deer giving birth to naturally colored fawns suggests that she mated with a non-albino buck. If the buck doesn't carry the albino gene, all fawns would be naturally colored, but carriers of the gene. If the buck carries the albino gene, each fawn has a 50% chance of being albino. So given the rarity of this, it's quite uncommon for an albino doe to have naturally colored fawns. This next clip shows a black mama bear and an albino bear cub. Like mentioned above, the genetics of coloration in black bears is similar to that in deer. It's also very rare, and the bear would also need to inherit the albino gene from both parents to be albino itself. Of course, this is a simplified explanation of the genetic dynamics, but enough of that. How cute is this video? I mean, look at these guys just playing with each other. Adorable. Caught by a CCTV camera in the middle of the night when all activity is usually at a minimum, we see a very strange event unfold. Out of nowhere, there's a sudden movement on the screen that catches our eye, drawing us into the spectacle. In no time, a humanoid figure comes into view. It seems to vault from the ground with surprising ease, landing on top of a nearby wall. Poised on all fours, it strikes an eerie posture before swiftly dropping out of sight. A closer look reveals that this figure bears a resemblance to a human, yet there are striking characteristics that challenge this notion. The way in which it moves displays an extraordinary level of nimbleness and control, beyond what we typically expect from a human. The seamless, and honestly elegant manner in which it moves through its surroundings leaves us puzzled about its true identity. I mean, it looks like Spider-Man almost. Is this mysterious figure some type of cryptid? Maybe one we don't even know about. I don't know. This creature definitely does not want to be seen. And you can tell it prefers to roam under the veil of darkness. Music 
In this particular footage, we witness an unexpected unfolding of events, revealing a more eerie side to the unassuming domestic dog's life. As we see, a dog sits alert by the back door of its owner's home, its eyes vigilant, scanning the surroundings as though anticipating an unseen threat. The camera that records this peculiar scene is not a result of chance. The owner, having noticed the dog's unusual nighttime behavior, its persistent gaze towards the door, occasionally disrupted by intense bouts of barking at seemingly nothing, felt compelled to investigate the mystery. He set up a camera in hopes of unraveling the cause behind his pet's strange antics. The night is quiet, but you can see that the dog is locked in on something. Then we hear an occasional tapping on the window, a creak echoes resonating from the wood floor, and as we watch it begins to be apparent that something is not quite right. Is there someone outside? Is there some type of paranormal entity outside? One that maybe we cannot see? Or perhaps it's already glided within the confines of the house. If you watch the door blinds, you'll notice their gradual rise throughout the recording, almost like they're manipulated by invisible hands. This unexplainable motion doesn't go unnoticed by the dog either. As the blinds inch upwards, a slow whine comes from the dog, its eyes following the eerie movement. Something's going on. Despite the alarming situation, the dog doesn't flee in terror. It looks like a Rottweiler to me, so I'm not that surprised. Its role as the household's guardian is a responsibility it obviously takes to heart. And so it remains rooted to the spot, eyes ever watchful, ready to protect its home from the strange unseen entity that has unsettled the peace of their night. This is a pretty crazy video. What do you guys think about this? Is there really something lurking out there? I thought I could see some shadows moving too. And obviously the blinds going up is insane. I guess this could also be camera trickery, meaning it's a hoax. But I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. In this clip, some guys start filming something that's pretty weird off in the distance. We can hear them talking about these strange black dots. But then their focus, and ours too, shifts to something way more startling. This big humanoid figure traipsing along the forest edge. You hear the guy behind the video camera blurt out, It's a skinwalker, holy crap, I got it on video. Now, if you're up to date on your Navajo lore, you'll know that a skinwalker is basically a wicked witch who can shapeshift, possess, or even blend in as an animal. Pretty wild. Now here's where it gets weirder. I always thought skinwalkers were night owls, but this? This is happening in broad daylight. I honestly don't know what to make of it. This thing, this creature, it's freaking massive. It's almost as tall as the trees. Unfortunately, and in what seems to be a theme, the camera loses sight of it before we can really figure out what we're dealing with. So just like you, we're left wondering, what in the world did we just witness? Does anyone have any ideas? Has anyone seen this clip before? On this brisk morning, quite the encounter takes place. A man finds himself being pursued by an unexpected adversary, a most likely rabid fox. As we all know, foxes typically shy away from people, keeping to themselves. And when a fox shows aggression or attempts to bite, it's a chilling sign. It's generally a symptom of rabies. The man finds refuge behind his dog, knowing he'll take care of the fox. And the dog, undaunted by the fox, stands ready to guard his owner, man's best friend. The rabid fox lunges, trying to attack and bite, but the dog remains unfazed. He's chained up, but he's not going to be bullied by this measly fox, and he refuses to let his owner be in harm's way. But I will say, this is a pretty big fox. But soon the rabid predator realizes its mistake. Outmatched and outwilled, it has no choice but to retreat. The man was smart to stay behind the dog. Tethered by a chain but unbound in bravery, this dog successfully defended his owner, a testament to their bond and a story of courage and loyalty. <laughs> Many
man, if this ain't some of the best redneck ingenuity I've ever seen, then I don't even know. Look at this. This brilliant idea and video has garnered over 4 million views and 18,000 comments. I mean, this really is an amazing contraption. I don't have to tell y'all how it works. I mean, they are just piling in there. A commenter said, New York City needs to make a giant one of these. But also, I hope this isn't someone's home. Ugh. Let me know if you guys have seen anything like this. I love simple contraptions like this. I think they're so cool. I added this in just because I can appreciate someone using their brain to fix a problem.